you stay close, I can make sure you're safe. Real just nods vigorously. <laughs> <laughs> Cannibals are one thing, but demons. Demons are bad. I don't know. Stupid publisher, why are you dying? <laughs> so, assistant, you're here to direct us to the keys. So, where may we find the keys? Which one should we go to first? And what sort of defenses exist to guard the keys? <laughs> it just turns to look at you. My responses are limited. You must ask the right questions. Good quote. <laughs> no, I wish it was a ghost, because then it would answer all the questions. This is a ghost? Is it is a ghost? No. Do, no. do you know what, what's invaded this place? There are strange magical readings all over the mansion, including the basement. Where are the keys located? There are three keys. You must complete challenges in order to unlock them in order to be considered worthy of administrative access. How do we ah, get to the try keys? Challenge. Ch oh. How do we get there? By walking through the mansion. Can you show us? Like, can you take us to the keys in sequential order? Or just in and yes. just take us to one and then we'll keep going? The first key is on this floor. It is the Please hold. No, why does my Word document freeze every time I click on it? You should just print it. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. But it's so many pages. <laughs> why am I not surprised? <laughs> but it won't, but it so, won't freeze. What did I miss while Discord um, died on me? Um, the assistant told us that there are three keys that, and it can, it can, it's going to lead us to the keys, and we have to pass challenges to get the keys, so we can be worthy of it. Uh, I'm going to try saving it as a PDF. Can we have to take a break while he saves this? So it's going to crash. No. Okay, yeah. The closest street key is the trial of powerful might. Wait. Powerful might. That sounds like my kind of key. Where is that? I have been quite. I have been known to attain powerful might. If you do not mind an administrative assistance, take us to the first key, or at least set us on the path. Hold on, saving PDF. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> do access that. Loading. Accessing database <laughs> files. Error. Error. Oh no. no. Oh, no. <laughs> you might want to lock that. No, the world is dying. <laughs> An earthquake. Do you like pie? I prefer cake. <laughs> okay. Follow this way. And then it starts gliding. So can we just clarify who's melee combat here? So I'm melee combat slash bard. I'm either. Is there anybody who's like straight melee combat or is the bard going in first? <laughs> the bard is not going in first. I have 72 hit points. <laughs> the cleric is you. behind you. I'm a fighter, so... Yep. All right, so, so the two entertainers are going in first, gl glancing at each other. We're gonna we're gonna do a kill count sort of competition, I, mean, I think. Here, going in, it's we gonna do happen. As well. So, um, so I mean, we're going. I mean, I'm mostly melee. Yeah. All right, okay. so we're all just gonna cluster and melee stab things to death. Okay, but, so we're going over here. Uh, yeah. uh you're coming with me. Uh, so the first room you pass through, the room labeled seventeen. <coughs> Uh, that one is seems to be sort of like a room filled with a bunch of like locked chests. I can't move my my token. 
Yeah, it seems to be locked. <laughs> <laughs> locked by a token. Only one uh, person can actually lock it. I'm and then the room 24 just seems sort of like an antechamber or like waiting area. Okay. I'm seeing all these awesome magical defenses happening. <laughs> As I get Fizzle. struck by lightning. <laughs> Wait. Struck by I can do that. If you need something just struck by lightning, I can do that. I can. Oh. We're, okay. I think he was I'm hoping we're not going to Okay, so as you guys like walk it. into this large, it's just like a room. It's like a very high ceiling. It's like a large, it's completely made of stone. There's like stone covering everywhere. And then uh, there's just light coming from the ceiling. But there's no, there's nothing else in the room. It's like a bare room. I start to walk in. So what are the two NTCs doing? <laughs> Uh, they decided to stay and wait in the room unless anyone wanted to tell them otherwise. No, it seems stupid, so I don't no. want to come think I'd have them come with us. You guys are no fun. <laughs> um, I I'm lost so Jackson disappointed somewhere. that no one left the room while the guy was gone. Well, I, I don't think if that's what well, happened, I should... I the dog, the surface dog, got oh. vanished. <laughs> somewhere in the fog of war and I can't grab. Right yeah, it's in, the, it's in the fog... Where? I can't see it. We can't see it. It's in I was trying to move it because I was moving Sierra's token right and then here. I was. Okay, there we go. It's back now. I lost it in the fog before. It, it vanished. <laughs> Your dog went into the, the abyss. I'm sorry. So, did I notice anything as we go through these rooms? Yeah, because uh, Atlea has uh, a passive perception oh. of like 24. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know that the uh, the route that you took before well, um, was this way. The portal room is through this door over here. Through the south, okay. Not helping since I cannot see that stuff. Uh, you should in like 20 seconds if you're watching the stream. <laughs> no, because that uh, messes okay. things up too. Okay. <laughs> uh, who do you wish to be beside now? We'll put your token there. Okay, so then uh, when you enter the room, he disappears and then reappears in the center of the room. It says, Welcome to the trial of powerful might. How many would like to face this trial? I! I will! Can, it, wait, 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 can, we, can you describe the challenge before we see who volunteers? Although I think clearly that um, yeah, she's, she's going to be one of the people who volunteers. <laughs> or is it like everybody in this room have to do it? What, how does this work? Everyone who is in the room must participate, but anyone is free to stand outside the room should they wish. Yeah, not it. You will face a number of attackers scaled to the number of people participating. Mm. I take out my scythe what immediately. Kind of attackers. So oh, if it scales attackers. to make this faster, we should only have one person in the room. <laughs> yeah, I can do it. I can do it. I will take them all on. I will sing of your heroic deed if you die. <laughs> well, I, I, I won't, but thank you. No, shut up. So, Athle, you want to <laughs> stay out, right? Or stay yeah, in? and I, and before before this, uh, I, I was sticking sort of a bit behind <coughs> the uh, more. Uh, the, the tougher ones if uh, oh 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 um can i before i leave can i cast heroism on uh on astrid <laughs> are you asking me that or what yes. were you asking yes can i cast because it's Outside like interference until the... is not allowed in the trial unless you wish to participate I don't need any buffs. I'm going to. I'll be fine on my own. I am so, strong. I am the storm weaver. Okay. So who was who was all staying and fighting? What was it? it was not that. It was something else. So our, 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 are are we sure very... this is a good idea? Hey, she said it scales. I mean, I prefer how, how not scaled. fighting. 
Yeah, Lujan is in there. He's got a shield and a spear up, and he's taking a fighting stance. All right, Stormweaver, you ready to fight? Wait, 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 wait. I have an actual question about this now. Hang on a second. <laughs> so if we don't well, participate in this question. one, does that automatically mean we can't participate in the other two? No. So if we choose not to participate in this one, we can still participate in the other two? Yes. And then we would gain administrative access regardless of who participates in what? If you collect all three keys, the keys can be used to gain administrative access. So, okay, so it's not bestowed upon, like, a specific person. It's an actual physical key. Yes. Okay, cool. Back, back out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> you ask a lot of questions. I just, like, bow. <laughs> <laughs> questions are good. All right, then. It looks like it will be the three of us. Are you ready? Always ready. What are you, are you Wait, ready? Wait, three people. Well, I thought it was gonna be one person. I am confused. Yeah, yeah I thought. Well, uh, well, Servo Barry is wants still... to stay, and Sierra is still there, and she hasn't said whether or not. Okay, she's... guys, make up your minds. I can prepare the encounter. Okay, oh, Serva you're back. Oh, you're backing out too. Okay, Sierra backed out, so it's two people. So Serva is backed out, as well as the dog, and then there it goes. The dog. <laughs> yes. Jackson. There we go. What's his name? Jack. That one's Jack. Oh, Jack. Yeah. Okay. I can fix it. Oh, I no, I can't because Kyra disabled me being able to change names. I can't fix it. <laughs> what you get? I just wanted to help the fog of war. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before this, so is she initiating the thing? Yeah. She says, so two challenges happens, I'd like to face, the trial of powerful might. I will place one hand on uh, Astrid and say, yes, two challengers would. And I cast Guidance on you. Okay. And then I'm going to cast Tempest Magic. And uh, as a bonus action, you cause a gust of air to surround you uh, that allows you to fly up to ten feet without provoking an attack of opportunity. So I'm now hovering above the ground. Okay, but I thought that only lasted for like a little bit. No, there's no. Uh -uh. Really? Yeah, you just do it. She is at the Palpatine. <laughs> um, check to see if it's concentration because it says, may... surrounds no. you before or after you no. cast a spell that allows you to provide ten feet. I thought you could only move to ten feet before or after casting a spell. Oh, is it only after a spell? Well, but I haven't cast a spell. It's before or after. I haven't cast a spell yet. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> it's like immediately oh. before or after. You can move ten feet. Darn. Okay. Fine. Okay. So then, uh, Thami disappears and says that you just hear a voice saying, The trial will begin in five, four, three, two, one. And then this large creature appears in the center of the room. And roll initiative! So can we still see this or did the door close? Oh yeah, you can see, but a magical uh, barrier appeared. Okay, because we can't see a creature that has appeared. So okay. can, is, is this, the sound still work? Oh, there's oh the there it is. Okay. Does sound still work? <laughs> oh, yes, you can see. It seems like you can hear them. So they can hear me, sweet, so I can cast all my sonic stuff. <laughs> um, okay, so roll initiative, you guys. Uh, is ev everybody? What? Okay. No, I... I'm rolling initiative so I can cast all my sound stuff on the... Okay, everyone who wants to potentially intervene can roll initiative. Alright. Uh, I got a seven. What does Guidance let me do? Uh, it ad lets you Oops. add a d4 to one ability check of your choice or attack, uh, uh, if you wish, within one minute. So you've basically Everyone got ten rounds. Uh, Lugion rolled a ten. I rolled an eleven. Because <laughs> I'm going to cheat, and it's going to ruin everything, but it's going to be great. 
You can, uh, Zeri, you can choose what ability. What did Lugian roll? Ten, ten total. Yes, ten total. Um, Zeri, you can choose uh, where to add this d4 if you want. Uh, so if you don't want to add it to the next spell, you can add it to, or the next attack, you can add it to the one after that. Stuff like that. Would anyone else like to roll? You just have a minute to spend it, so. Kylar, what are you doing? Move that. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on now? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, so Kylar is up first. Um. Uh, yeah. Well, they said interference is not tolerated, so like I'm only gonna do it if I think I'm gonna die. So I am not actually doing anything. Okay, Barry. Me. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, Zeri, you must have rolled fairly bad then. Okay. Mm -hmm. You guys should be able to see. I wrote it in the notes. On the side right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see it now, but... Okay. Since... <coughs> right there. Guardian Drake. Let's do this first. Uh, I'm going to cast Bane at first level. Uh, the target has to make a Charisma saving throw. The DC you have to beat is 15. Okay, otherwise what happens? If it fails... If it fails, it gets a D4... It, uh, for one minute, it has a debuff on it. It is currently baned. Uh, it will roll a d4 anytime it makes a attack roll or a saving throw, and it has to subtract that d4 from whatever number it is. A d4 every time it makes an attack or saving throw? Yes. And subtracts a minus 4? Yes. So Does it, it get a saving throw every turn? No, it is not... One of those. Wow, that's insane. <laughs> I love that one. Uh, so that's going to be one first level being. Is that a concentration spell? It is indeed. Oh, okay. <clears throat> the duration is one minute, so ten, ten rounds. So... As a bonus action, I will cast... <coughs> can I actually... Oh, it doesn't tell me everything. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. No, it's an action. It's an action. That's an action. Okay, I will cast Spiritual Weapon. Mm. Spiritual Weapon at a third level. Okay. And a giant spear appears on the other side of this particular creature. Okay. I have a chest full of Spiritual Weapon props. Does it have a spear in it? One would think it would have a spear, and yet uh, it does not have a spear in it. I have a spear, if you so wish. A super for long, one. pointy mace. Do, 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 do. Did I put it under that picture? Oh, if I have to upload... Technically, I bring that, 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 that best effort. creature back in, and we it's pretend that too it's too much effort if I give you one to, uh -huh. to upload. Aw, oh, man. Okay, I just dropped a spear over here somewhere. Okay. Does anyone see where it went? No. <laughs> no, because it's inside the fog of war, man. We can't see anything. Like, um, if you dropped it on the floor, I can't see it. Well, okay, I guess we won't use that as the spear. We'll use this. <laughs> okay. And then as a bonus action, it's going to attack. It's a spell attack. 
That is a 24 to hit. Okay. Uh, it hits. Spirit <coughs> weapon, where was it? Okay, so spiritual weapon, da 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 da. How many d8s is that? It's already a second level, so it gets a 2d8. Oh no, I can't search my yellow die. Okay, that's a d4. That's a d6. That's a d8. Gets a total of 8 damage. Okay. At least I think that's 8 damage. <coughs> uh. Total of twelve damage. Sorry, gets my modifier. Twelve damage. Well, I... Twelve. Okay, twelve damage. Okay, now is that your end of your turn? Yes, that's it. It takes a bonus action to cast the spiritual weapon, and then Bane. Okay. Action, so so Terry's turn. Mm. Okay. Mm. Also, the music's not playing anymore. Just saying. It's not. Uh, it's nope. Not. It died. I don't hear it. It died. Nope. It died. What? It died. Yeah, basically, right it. right when the fight started, it died. I'm gonna. Astrid is gonna move over here. Is it back? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that I am diagonal with the creature, and I'm gonna use my glaive. Because it has a 10 foot reach, so I can do that. Yeah, that's funny. Glaive is just another word for sword. Mm hmm. Well, glaive, it's more of a scythe. But, um, 13. 13 does not hit. Oh, wait, I've got the thing. You gave me guidance, didn't you? Can I add that? Yes, you can. You can add a d4 to it. Yeah, I'm going to add the d4 to it. You can that, add it to attack rolls. That expends it, but yes. You can add it, add it to attack rolls. Well, yeah, I don't want to miss on the first go. No, thank you. What? Everybody needs to miss on the first go. <laughs> okay, that's uh, it. 50! Yay! Okay. There you I go. Let's cross out. Okay, uh, so that's a d10. Plus three, so that's eleven. Okay. Eleven points of damage. Yes. I'm is looking very upset. George yeah, is getting upset. I just, I, His name is George now. Asher just. She, I line up. Asher lines up with George. She takes out her sight and with a quick motion, cuts underneath uh, his like gaunt, his gut like area, trying okay. to cut at his legs. Okay, it rears its head back and roars, Arr! and then it goes and sweeps its head forward and lets out a giant cone of fire. So you guys make dexterity saving throws. Wait, dang the it, cone hits it. both of them? Mm -hmm. What? I'm what? What? Little, what kind of cone is this? <laughs> I'm not convinced. Draw me the cone, good sir. Uh, that is an actual interesting cone, but okay. Dexterity saving throw. Oh, it, so it comes from its the middle of its body instead of its face. This is a token representation of the actual fuck, okay, sir. So it's actually standing one behind <laughs> that. That's gonna be fun. So what do you guys roll? Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. <laughs> That's good news. That's a fifteen. If you only take half damage. The music died again. What? The loop uh, function on the tablet does not work. Does not like to work. I'm seeing that. It's because you're using YouTube. 
Okay, so you guys take half of this amount of damage. How many dice did you just roll? <laughs> I just saw the dice pop up over the the the, 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 the okay, so you guys dice. take fifteen damage. Fifteen? Okay, so it's rounded up. Okay. Or fourteen. I don't know. Okay. How much are you supposed to? How does rounding work in D and D? Uh, usually you round down. Yeah. Okay, you take usually. fourteen damage. Okay. Ow! Two, and then uh, it lowers its head and tries to ram Lugion with its horn. Hey, whoa! What is happening in my DM area? <laughs> you know, I can't see him. Don't I someone can break in there. I was okay, rolling you guys dice. Can click on anything in here. You just can't see it, so don't click. Why? When I see, when I see red button. Now? When I see red red button, I. I Leave it alone, <laughs> Kylar. <laughs> Rocks fall, everybody in the hallway oh, dies. Uh, or at least Kylar, uh, Kylar does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they do. Okay. No, I know exactly what, what happened. Path? The blast from the dragon goes through the door and kills him. Okay, so it has to subtract a 4 from it, right? Yes, a d4. Uh, the 24. No, 22. 22. 22 total? Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's going to hit. <coughs> okay, it does. It does 13 damage. Steel band. Oh yeah, my spiritual weapon too. Wait, I thought you had to roll a certain amount depending on how much damage you took for concentration, don't you? Uh, it's half the damage or ten, whichever is higher. Okay, so that's going to be a ten total. And Wait, is it ten plus half the damage or just just nope. half the damage? Half the damage it's whichever is higher. ten, whichever one is higher. Uh, it's not like Star Wars when you get a bazillion buffs, so it just yeah. stacks ludicrously. Like it's DC fifteen plus all of the damage you took. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. Quite <laughs> I thought, that I thought way. it was. Nope, it doesn't do that. It's not that bad. It can be. It can get pretty bad. Uh, so both spiritual weapon and bane are still up, although I am like hurting. I'm hurting. Okay, you guys, the squishy people are like, we can fight, guys. Oh, oh, oh I forgot. It gets one more attack. So it attacks uh, Zeri with oh, its claws. I told you before this started, she has a negative two to wisdom. I'm relying on you guys to tell her what nope. these are bad ideas. I believe the seven foot ten Goliath can fight. Uh, I haven't seen her not be able to fight. Four hit. I'm assuming a 24 hit. Okay, it hits you. Yeah. Did you roll a d4 to subtract? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though it's not going to do too much. I don't think the 20 is going to miss either. Yeah. I believe the ghost thing said that it scales to the amount of people in the fight, so... Yeah, um... You take... Uh, 13 damage. How is it still attacking? I'm confused. But that's what it does. It has three attacks. Oh, joy. So, basically, you have to slit its throat this turn? Okay. I have oh, a very, very limited okay, amount of spells. Um, so seeing <laughs> fire and crazy nonsense, I'm going to be like, well, what's the harm in, in doing stuff? Uh, so um, since I can hear things, I'm going to do a vicious mockery cantrip. <laughs> it's early insults. And like, you foul excuse for a creature, you call that flame breath. <laughs> what, what does Vicious Mockery do? Um, so <laughs> it's going to take 2d4 damage. So it's make a wisdom, it's a wisdom saving throw. And then a uh, 14. And then if it, it has to take a disadvantage. Four from that, right? Yes, it, hmm? it does take a minus 4 to that. Okay, got a 15. 
With with the subtraction? Yeah, 17 minus 2. Sorry. Okay, so it takes no damage then. Okay. Sad. Okay, then you hear me say, additional trial participant identified, and then the magical barrier loops around and grabs you and pulls you. <laughs> <laughs> no. No! I, I do it! I do it! I do it! All I do right, it. all right. <laughs> Let's do this, sucker! And he's like, "All right, you're like, I, you want to play?" I look at the door and then I look back at, at I'll say that and just like, uh, play. Uh, uh, Chris Four is like, "Yes, he's gonna die." <laughs> <laughs> you oh, notice the no. smaller version of the creature appears next to you. Well, that's just no fair. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it should no. appear after this turn. It should appear after this turn. Look, it's jumping. It was happy to see you. <laughs> All right, we're casting some serious you. spells now, like psh, vicious mockery. Psh. Some stuff okay, seals are gonna get messed up turn. now. Oh, this is terrible. Okay. Um, are we gonna help them? Ooh, what does that do? I think they're okay. <laughs> no, I don't think they are. Uh, I don't think they are. Are the rest of you just going to stand there and watch, or do you want to go explore other parts of the mansion? Okay. Yeah, tag team. You guys go do another one. <laughs> Okay. Oh, split the party, that sounds like a great idea. Very... And a one-shot splitting the party is a great idea. Yeah, true. <laughs> um... Ooh, that's terrible. Okay. So the, the second one that appeared was... Three. What? Or the smaller version of the creature itself. How much smaller? Uh, you know what? Four times I'm smaller. Barry is going to, as a action, cast Inflict Wounds at third level. Yeah, at my highest level. Which is what level did you cast Bane at? Uh, first level. I'm marking it off on my uh, D&D okay. Beyond. And so that is a spell attack. Inflict wounds. For 5d10. That is a 24 to hit. <laughs> That's a d12. Uh, what kind of... It is it a dex thing? Yeah, that hits. It, that's uh, this is actually a melee spell attack, so it's. Oh, okay. So it hits. <clears throat> so roll the damage. Okay, and that is a five d ten. Nice. Move that die over. Move that die over. Boom. So the game freezes. Well, wow. twenty five nice. damage. So you see part of the creature skin just like starts erupt erupting in like blisters as it sort of like withers away underneath your touch. It looks very angry. And then I'm going to do a healing word at bonus uh, at first level as a bonus action. And that is just 1d4 plus four, or plus modifier I believe for me. 1d4 plus 4. Oh, that. Plus that. Hey, total of 7 more health. That puts me there at 40. Okay, Zeri, your turn. Okay, well, seeing as this thing's apparently got an insane cone. Oh, are you, what about the sword, the spiritual weapon thingy? The spiritual weapon is a bonus action. 
Uh, it, it stays, but I'm not making an attack with it this round. Oh, okay. Okay, so she's gonna move here. And attack with her glaive. That would be... No, you're not in melee. And she though. says, Yeah, I am with my glaive. It's a ten foot reach. It's a ten feet foot reach. So, then I... Uh, so I say, I will attack with my glaive as I see Glaive enters combat, and I say, Ow! Oh, mother Mayor! <laughs> Go through. <laughs> but only man, it's because I rolled a two! Do you yeah. have advantage because I'm flanking, or no? Or because you're flanking with me, or no? Because that's that would be the question. My main question is, if she moves after I could hit her, does it get an attack of opportunity? No, because I'm still her? with I'm still within attack range. I didn't leave its its attack space. Yeah, it's not, it's still it's not out of its yeah, range. If it's still within the ten foot radius, no. then she, then she's still within the threat range. She's within her ten foot radius, but she's not within its radius. Well. It, yeah, if it uses its cone attack, it is. <laughs> well, that's yeah, not its melee. No, because but... I think... But I can, I'm still threatening it within my range. Okay, sure, whatever. You're, I mean, you're flanking, so you get advantage. Okay. Yay! Try this again! It's, it's a five! High. It's so higher. That's, that's, a, that's a 11! That doesn't hit. No! <laughs> so yeah, I, I tried to get a little closer to the neck this time, trying to cut its head off, and, and, and apparently did not succeed. Okay, it tries to attack Barry by biting him for ten plus um, ten plus twenty-one. Uh, did you take a d4 to that? Yeah, I did. That's what that one was. One. Right, a twenty. A twenty-one. It has the plus eleven to hit. So basically, it just hits everything every time. That will hit. It hit all the things. See, aren't you glad we took the magic armor? <laughs> it was kind of. <laughs> it doesn't a matter. It doesn't matter because <laughs> it'll hit anyway. <laughs> exactly. We uh, ten we damage. <laughs> now I'm wishing my glaive did have that plus two Kai Wrath. That would have been useful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, then it makes the claw attack against you as well. I mean, no, a horn attack. It hits you with its horn attack. Okay. Oh, wait, what is this? I'm oh, just kidding. It only has a plus seven to hit. I was misreading the sheet. <gasps> Uh-oh. So that would Try the 17. Does the 17 hit you? 17 does. Okay. That hits you with a horn attack. For 11 minus 4 is 7, plus 7 is 14. That one will miss. Okay. Now it goes for the claw attack. <laughs> For 18 plus 7 for 25. I'm assuming that one hits. 25 to hit, one. yeah. For 10 damage. And the little one is sizing up Kylar's character. <laughs> it's got me at 20 health, okay. By the way, everything is still up. Bane is still up. Uh, okay. So, Kylar, your turn. Okay, so, uh, new system. How does withdraw action work in this system? Uh, you take uh, an action. Look at the yeah. back side of those sheets. Disengage is, a, is yeah. an action. It's an action in combat. It's a full action? Mm -hmm. For you, uh -huh. yes. Uh, okay. It's instead of attacking our spell. But it prevents attacks of opportunity. Alright, I am going to... Cast. You know what? This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna save everybody's butt if this works out successfully. Let me see. Yay! I'm on board with that. Um. So I'm gonna cast Dissonant Whispers as a third level spell on the large one. So it's a Wisdom saving throw, 14. Okay. 
Let me just borrow your dice right here, since I'm right here already. It fails! Alright, so it's gonna take... Oh, and I need to do this. 5d6. Sorry, I forgot to fix my dice here. Where's my d6? Alright. So it's gonna take 16 damage, and has to immediately use its reaction to move as far as its speed allows away from me. And so that'll provoke a tax opportunity for um, both Zeri and Barry's characters. Nice. I would have done it with me also standing next to it so I could stab it, but I don't want to provoke an attack of opportunity from Little Guy. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this will also... Um, let's see. Let's see so we get an attack of opportunity? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let me see. Yeah, so it just has... Just this, this turn, it has to run away from me. So it's fine after. Yay! Totally worth it. <laughs> I made. I think I hit this time too. Um, eighteen. Yep, that hits. Yes. Uh, eight points of damage. Okay. So, Barry, you make your attack. Oh, Barry. Here you go. Here you go. Barry, would you like to make an attack of opportunity? Oh, he just has it on. Make an attack of opportunity, <laughs> Barry. Uh, technically, I get two of those. Which is kind of funny. You get cut out. What, what did you say? You get two? Does your spiritual weapon get an attack of opportunity? <laughs> yes, it does. I get to make okay. two of those. <laughs> This is this is great. I love my. I, I regret nothing about my my spell choice right here. Ooh, nice roll. <laughs> that is a sixteen plus uh, for a melee attack. I can that only is cast a twenty one. That, that hits. Okay. And then the other attack. Be five plus seven. Twelve. That doesn't hit. Okay. Uh, wait, wait. Can I? Can I use my? Well, never mind. I can't because you said it. But never mind. I don't think fast, fast enough. Never mind. Carry on. That's uh, okay. Let's see. Spear. So how much damage does yours? Can you? Can you, can you? Can you give me like a second to see what people okay. roll before you say if it succeeds or fails next time, so I can use my uh -huh. bardic inspiration? I forgot about that. I mean, if you want to use it, you can. So one d roll. Four damage. Four damage. Okay. Uh, from my spear, and I rolled a 12 on my, uh, or 12 to hit on the uh, spiritual weapon. Yeah, I'm going to use the body inspiration on that since it went kind of fast. Yeah. Okay. So you I, roll I, 1d8, so you can roll 1d8 to add to it. I think we have to roll between a 14 and a 15 to hit it, because I don't think it's a 13 like will hit it. That'll mm -hmm. be a 13 total. <laughs> no! You don't hit it. No, why? <laughs> All right, sorry. <laughs> I tried. I know. It happens. <clears throat> okay, that was Kyler's turn. Mm -hmm. But now it's Barry's turn. That was a very successful turn. We did okay. lots of damage to it. I am pleased. Okay. <laughs> totally okay. worth the third level spell slot. <laughs> okay. So it has decided to move. 5, 10, 15. Uh, I will move my spiritual weapon back in the melee with it since I can't click on it. Oh. Okay. And it is going to attack as a bonus action. I love this. <laughs> that is a 24. That hits. I think you hit it. <laughs> yep. And well, so everybody else, you're getting up to shenanigans with the NPCs, right? What? <laughs> I think they're all watching. No, they're just hiding place. in the hall. No, clearly, clearly, Weird has sold them into slavery. <laughs> By now. That is 14 damage to it. Nice. And then, as an action, I'm going to look at it kind of funny. 
and go. Told the dead. It has to make a wisdom saving throw. The DC on that is 15, and he still has the D4 on it to take yeah, it away. Yeah, he fails. <laughs> oh, so that's... Oh, wow, he's taking damage, too, as well. Ooh, let's see. D10s. Let's move that over. And that is two D10s. Uh, two D12s. Oh, it's two D. It's more than what I just rolled. Mm -hmm. But you roll so well, you should just don't re-roll. Don't re-roll. Don't tempt fate. Just <laughs> no, you gotta roll the accurate. No, time. you're gonna roll ones. You're gonna roll ones. No, no, no. No, I oh, rolled no. more. <laughs> roll better. Seventeen. Okay. Seventeen. It is looking uh, on the verge of death. Cut it open. You can do it. I believe in you, Astrid. Murder its brains. And so yeah, it like <laughs> scrunches over its head when it hears a loud ringing in its ears, and it roars loudly. Okay, it is Zeri's turn. Must she be able to roll higher than a four? Maybe. Oh. Also, I may or may not give her a bardic inspiration, <laughs> but also I kind of want to save him. Although we could just take short rests in between all this stuff. <laughs> you can. I'm debating about whether I should use a spell or not, but I my spells are limited. So maybe I should just use the glaive, because I don't think this is going to be the biggest battle today. So. And if you stand across from the spiritual weapon, you get blanking? Nope. <laughs> I already looked up that rule, Kylar. I looked it up. I really did. I wanted to make sure you do not get blanking from spiritual weapon. Okay. <clears throat> Official ruling from the D and D creator also says no, you don't get. Hey, look at that! You were well. Nineteen. Nineteen. You hit it. Nice. Uh, nine points of damage. Okay, so you can describe how you kill it. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Nice. Uh, so she's she wields her scythe, so she she's gonna she cuts at its leg, making it kneel down. Then she jumps, comes up, crawls up onto it, takes the takes her scythe and swings it across to lop its head off, standing on top of it. Okay, you notice a lot of foul brown blood spurting out from its severed neck as its head goes flying. Oh, it feels like being back at Young home. Blood. <laughs> I told you your fire breath was a poor excuse for fire breath. <laughs> hey, don't be talking. You got one next to okay, Speaking of which, the tiny creature rears back its head and lets out a claw. So make a saving throw. Can I? What is this? A, 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 a deck saving throw. A deck saving throw. You can do it. No, I can't. I rolled a three. <laughs> oh. You um, really can't do it. Um. So you take 12 points of fire damage. Ooh, shiver me timbers. Anything else bad happen from that? Uh. Like getting lit on fire no, or something stupid. No, it's already on fire. Awesome! Okay. Then it attacks you with its horn on its head. Okie dokie. And this one's not cursed. So That's it gets a 15. Nope, doesn't hit. Then it attacks you with its claws. And gets... Oops, it gets a 1. <laughs> Super doesn't hit. I am the immortal bard man! You cannot hurt me! <laughs> okay, now it's Kylar's turn. Alright, I'm, yeah, I'm just stabbing this one with my, my short swords. So, uh... Mm. Let's see. That'll be a, a 15. That hits. And a... Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. <clears throat> and a 21. Those both hit. So, the first one is... Oops, not a 5. Nope, 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 <laughs> nope. Just one. <laughs> so, the first one does 6 damage. 
And the second one does two damage. I see you got great strength bonuses to those. Uh, those are dex bonuses, yeah. but yeah. Oh wait, yeah, is it supposed to be a dex bonus? Yeah, yeah, if they are finesse weapon. weapons, This yes. is going to be a 1d6 plus 2. Yeah, I know, but... What's the so what did you roll? Oh yeah, uh, you rolled 2. In. Okay, yeah, so it is plus 2. Okay, so it is, that's correct. Okay, just want to make sure. Okay, yeah, and the, the plus 2 bonus doesn't affect the second one, which is why it only does 2 damage, because they rolled a 2. Mm. Yep. Ah, I see. But I still did, I did damage to okay, it. Okay, now it's Barry's turn. I didn't want to waste another since, spell on it. Since we still have that thing, one creature still um, uh, wandering about. 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, I will move my spiritual weapon to right over me. I can only move it 20 squares, or 20 feet. So it's like right over me. Um, and then I will just look at the wolf and the wolf. What, or in what universe whatever. is a wolf? Well, it looks like a wolf from up here, but uh, it looks like a. It looks more like a dinosaur, like a dragon. Well, it's at really, the angle I was the at, <laughs> at the angle I was at. Okay, so yeah, okay. it is a Drake, but uh, roll will, the dead then, or it needs to make a roll. I haven't hovered over it yet. Yes, I, I shall I... toll the dead on it, and it needs to make a wisdom saving Which throw. Of these Oh, hey, what do you know? Got a nat 20. I call shenanigans, but okay. I rolled your dice. You could see right there. This is on a 20. <laughs> I don't see the dice. It didn't show up. I, yeah, did I the rolled dice. the actual dice. Because it's faster. Okay, next. We're going to go quickly. We got a whole campaign to get through. It's already been two hours. Well, tried to make the, the, the combat go fast, and then I was trying to okay, cheat to make it go faster, and that didn't work out so well. Okay, so... She's gonna come over there, and she is going to cast Thunderclap. Uh, you create a burst of thunderous sound that can be heard for a hundred feet. Each creature within range of you, other than you, we must succeed a Constitution saving throw. So yes, that includes Kylar and everyone Mary. in the party. Make a Constitution saving throw. Thunderclap. <laughs> What's the range? Yeah. No, it can be. No, it can be. It can be heard a hundred feet away, but that's not the range of the actual attack. It, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, no, no, wait. The range. No, no, no. Range, no. Range. No range. Area. Because yeah. thunder. No, thunderclap is a five foot range. I have thunderclap as a cantrip. Yeah. Wait. So I'm not in range of it. Dang it. No. Oh, it only has a range of five feet. Oh, and I've I've never looked at the range. I just. It says it can be heard. Everyone in a hundred so, feet. So like for stealth purposes. Oh, yeah. I it's not that ridiculous. That That's a ridiculously Dang. OP. It's only meant for if you're in melee combat with somebody and you don't right. want to be in melee combat with somebody. Yep. Dang it. Well, that's not going to work. What Do you have a different spell? Can you lightning death it with something else? I could, but I'm trying to save my spells, but I may as well just do something. So let, let me see. Let's do... Yeah, let's just do it. Uh, let's cast Witch Bolt. I'm gonna cast Witch Bolt. At what level? First level. Uh, so, so that's that's a range of thirty feet. So I'm gonna cast. Mhm. Mm yeah. That's a cool spell. It it really is. Okay, so that's um. Uh, I, I, can, uh, I can, I can, I can, I can, nope, I'm, I'm gonna, yes, mm, well, it's smaller, should I get, nope, I'm doing Bardic Inspiration, because I'm not, Wait, I where is it saving, spell. oh, you have to make an attack, oh, I yeah, it's a right. range spell attack, what is it targeting, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, add a 1d8 to that, Zary, okay, gotta burn both, all my Bardic Inspirations in the first combat, guys, that's how it works, so what is, what is it, oh, you need to make okay. a roll, okay, no, I'm rolling, give me a second, oh, that's an 8, so that definitely hits, Okay, so then, so then the damage is one d twelve, one d twelve. But then, hold on, I gotta check something. Uh, 
Yay for one shots and spells, am I right, guys? <laughs> yep. He's not within... He's not within 10 feet of me, right? No. Okay, mm. damn it. Survey says. Well, it depends on how diagonals. Work. Yes. Like, this well, one technically, it's within ten feet. It's within ten feet. feet. So this is twenty feet away. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know how it works. No, like one, one square is one. Yeah, make a call. It's two okay, squares okay. away. Within twenty feet. Okay, whatever. Okay. So if it's okay, so then okay, that's cool. Then so. So it's six, and then because it's within three, ten to feet of me, that makes it three. So that's nine points of damage from which bolt. Okay. Is that hey, now. Cre light, light, create lightning from my fingertips and shoot it at the creature? The lightning crackles over the creature's body and looks very unhappy as it goes to attack Kylar. Uh, <coughs> uh, an eight. Nope. With its bite attack, and then it uses its horn attack, and gets ooh nice a twenty-two. A twenty-two. What did it roll? A nineteen. Yeah, that was it. I'm assuming. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Yes. I have my AC is a twenty-five. Actually. No. 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 Remember, you have that damage. skill that, that that skill that lets it miss if it's a twenty-one. <laughs> The same skill that Kyra But it was a 23, though, not a 21. I mean, it's like All prime numbers. Prime numbers are okay. prime numbers. And it attacks with its claws. And gets a 15. Nope. Yep, that armor I'm very happy with. <laughs> okay, now it is Kylar's turn. Um... Uh, yeah, I'll just use my daggers again. So, first one's a 20. Second one is a, sadly, only a 10. <laughs> uh, the first one hits. So, that's six points of damage. Okay. Wait, what am I doing? I should just be using Thunderclap. This is stupid. I was just wondering <laughs> to myself, why does he not use Thunderclap? <laughs> I should use Thunderclap, whatever. At least Thunderclap next turn. I forgot, but... Yeah, Thunderclap's better. Because it does... I mean, it only does 2d6. And if you oh, succeed nice. on saving throw, then it don't, doesn't take any damage at all. Yeah. Okay, Lugion's turn. Murder it. Kill it. Spiritual okay. weapon, go. No, actually, I'm going to do... I'm going to do two things. I'm going to move into melee with him. And then I'm going to move my spiritual weapon into melee with him as well. So far this sounds like a brilliant scheme is happening right now. I like brilliant schemes. And then both I and the spiritual weapon are stabbing with our spears. Okay. And that What's is... that total for you, Barry? That is a, 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 a 15 to hit okay, cool. with don't, that one. Don't need to do that. <laughs> don't need to waste another bardic inspiration. <laughs> and that is cool. a 20 go, go. to hit on that one. Okay, both of those hit. Cool. Okay. Stab it with spears so. and murder its brains. <laughs> Holy Lands is back, everybody. We're slicing. We're dicing. <laughs> Everything is dying with yeah, swords. That's a 7 from my spear. And spiritual weapon was 2d8. Ah, that's pathetic rolls. Um, and the spiritual weapon... Throws it. That's a total of 9 on the spiritual weapon. Okay. It's looking so pretty beat up. 7 and 9 come stabbing at it. So now it is Zeri's well, turn. You get to add another one! <laughs> There you go, girl. There you go. Uh, since I don't have to go any further than the diagonal square, that's where I'm going. 
Uh, and we'll just use the glaive again. Sorry, the scythe. I need to remember it's a scythe, it's not a glaive. <sighs> Never mind. Oh, no. You guys got this, right? You guys got this. Mm, okay. The creature will continue attacking Kylar. It will make three attacks. I'll just roll them all three together. Ouch! No. On oh, the next round, take the uh, take the dodge action if you can, Kylar. Okay, it's a seven, a ten, and a twenty. Okay, so the last one hits me, and that's it. Does seven damage. Ooh, I crossed the 50 HP threshold, guys. Okay, Barry's turn. I need Kylar's turn. It's going down. It's going down. No, yeah, I'm just gonna keep stabbing it. Nobody dodges it. Dwarves don't dodge things. That's not a thing that happens. <laughs> okay. So that would be a 19 and a 13. Uh, those both hit. So we've got ooh, eight damage and three damage. So eleven damage. Oh, total. perfect. <laughs> do you want to kill it? How do I want to kill it? Mm -hmm. um, I want to like you know it was like clawing it. Like which attack was the one that attack hit me last turn? Uh the claw. It's the claw. You jumped up on his back and used my spiritual weapon to stab it. Right, right, right. So, so like, it hit me with its claw, and then, like, one of my swords, like, chopped its leg off, and then when it's, like, screaming in pain from that, I shoved my other sword up through the roof inside of its mouth, like, through its brain. Nice. Okay. Uh, so as soon as you stab it, you hear a voice saying, Congratulations, heroes. You have passed the challenge of powerful might. And then you can see me over in the corner. Like in the palm of her hand, like a golden key appears. <laughs> so she goes. Uh, Astrid goes and grabs it. Um, perhaps. Uh, no, no, it's this power powerful might. It's mine. It's mine. <laughs> she will she will you know how to use it later? Are you questioning my intelligence? We are more questioning your wisdom, but okay. It's a key. I think I can figure it out. Lugion will laugh when it's not how a key normally gets where it works. Lugion will sit on the floor and just kind of like... Alright. I am going to guzzle a potion, though. Yep. That's what Lugion's going to do as well. At least one. If not more. Does that hurt? 2d4 plus 4. I, I'm glad I jumped in, even though it made me get hurt. <laughs> Oh, what was the dial on that, uh, Zeri? 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 plus uh, 2? Okay. So that gives me this. Okay, suddenly you guys uh, hear a ah! really loud scream coming from the direction that you guys came in originally. Oh, cool. The other person with a lot of health is in front. It's Zira's turn to fight things. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna immediately turn around and head straight to the sound. Yep, I'm okay. uh, probably going to as well. So, uh, what's, uh, what's weird doing, Bazak? I'll follow. Three total cool. I see you two lollygagging in there taking potions. I'm like, there's no time for potions, there's more adventure. <laughs> Smash the, I smash the potion on the ground and I follow after you. Okay, so everyone is running. Yes. You guys all make it to, like, well, here. Well, I would be running, but I'm really tall, so I'm more, like, kind of fast walking because everyone's slow. <laughs> okay. And then you, you encounter the other two, Ariel and Jonathan, like, running towards you guys. And as you sort of collide... Ariel's like, what's going on? We heard someone screaming. Is I everything thought it was okay? you. Yeah. No, we were just sitting in the dining hall, and then we heard a scream. Okay, I am looking around now. Is this one of you guys? Were you? Were either of you? Screaming? Someone roll. Uh, someone roll perception for me. 
talking to them. Okay. 